Mikhailo Modric is probably a name that is not allowed to be spoken on a lot of lips in London these days, simply because of a last minute transfer change instead of to Arsenal to Chelsea for 70 million euro, I believe. But with all that animosity aside, let's take a look how he actually does in game and who he goes to. But as you can see, at the start of the game, he is still with Shakhtar from 2016 to 2023. 17 appearances, two goals. He is mainly an AML. However, he can play across that attacking line, which is really nice to see. Uh, his numbers are pretty good. Technicals, not bad. Dribbling a, 14, a 15, uh, a couple of 14s, crossing and finishing. Passing is there. Technique of 15. But some in the greens as well with 16 determination. Flair, acceleration and pace are always wonderful. And agility. Career milestones, you can see he's already had his club debut, obviously, with 17 appearances. Uh, relegation, apparently, from the that thing. I'm not even about to pronounce that. Uh, scored his first senior club debut and then had his first international cap against Scotland at age 21. So he's got a couple landmarks in there right now. Let's take a look how he is in 10 years. Funny enough, it is not Chelsea that he goes to in this save. It is Aston Villa of all places. Aston Villa are in 8th place. So don't know how that worked. Uh, and as you can see, they've been in around 8th place for a long time. ninth once. So... Overall, definitely not as good of a career as he's looks like he's about to have with Chelsea, if they actually use him, of course. But you can see he's been playing a little bit more in that midfield left role. He does have a bunch of numbers that have climbed. Technique has grown to 17, which is nice to see. Uh, composure decisions, flair of 18, off the ball of 16, vision of 16. So very nice. Pace and acceleration, or acceleration at least, has gone down by one. But agility up to 18. Pace still at 16. Overall, he's looking not too bad. He's a star player for Aston Villa. Uh, who is he wanted by? He's wanted by Arsenal, funny enough. But 21 to 62 million rated, 185k per week until 2034. We'll definitely check him out in 2035 and see what happens. But Premier League, 34 appearances, so he's playing a lot. Three goals, three assi or two assists, 714 average rating. Doing not so bad. He's not getting into Champions League, though, so that is a different story. But he has been here eight years. Let's see what his career milestones are. Uh, seasonal best 11s. Seasonal best 11s for both Ukraine and Aston Villa. They won the Europa Conference League in 2030. Carabao Cup winners in 29. So he is definitely helping them out. Bossed, bought by Aston Villa for $37.5 million. There you go. And if you see the career stats, there it is. $37.5 million. Moved to England. Uh, he has minus one year with 699. He has had a consistent 70 and above career. Very good. Uh, Aston, I mean, assist with Aston Villa 2031, 2032 season. 38 appearances, four goals, 10 assists. Very nicely done. Only 712, though. I don't know. Kind of interesting. 11 goals with Shakhtar in his final year. But very good history, injury wise. He has a bit. If you could see that, he's got a couple of majors, five weeks with a torn wrist ligaments. Uh, you got sprained knee ligaments, major five weeks, and then two in 2023 20, and 24. Fractured lower arm and hip injury, two months and four weeks apiece. So he has definitely been out a bunch. Uh, it's a couple of moderates, a lot of moderates in there actually as well. So I don't know if he's really got injury proneness, but he's got a lot of things and he's been out a lot of times. Uh, so missing a couple of games here and there is not happy, but you know, he's still putting in a lot of time with 34, 38, 35, 25. That year was not too good. Um, 33 is a little down. So overall, I mean, once he hit England, he's been hitting the ground running really well. So bio wise, he's got seven winners medals conference league in 2030. He's got a couple of Ukrainian ones. I'm not about to pronounce these 2023, 20, 24, another 23, 24 and 25 care about cup 29. Why do you order it that way? That's weird. Why wouldn't you start with the 23, 24, 23 and 24, and then move to, you know, the care about cup and then the finished with the Europa Conference League, but he's also earned recognition from soccer community for his achievements, won the Ukrainian midfielder of the season, Ukrainian player of the season on two occasions, and World Cup Golden Boot third place. A lot of third places in all of these player uh, profiles that I do, but he's truly one of soccer's global superstars. Of course he is.
And as we can see, he's actually primarily played on the left, uh, midfield left for the club. 35, three goals, three assists, 720 average rating. He's played a couple on the right, two uh, two club appearances, one goal, one assist, 770. So maybe he needs to be built on that right side a little more. Internationally, another uh, midfield left, eight international appearances, two goals, two assists, 758 average rating. Overall, fantastic. Um, not played in this AML role much anymore. So he's adding some versatility to his CV. But what happens in two years' time as both his contract expires and our save ends? Let's take a look. So he has extended his contract with Aston Villa. It is 2035. He is here for another season to 2036. 165K per year. Still a star player at 34 years old. Uh, 4.8 to 14.5 million. Still played in that ML role, I'm going to assume. Let's take a look. Yep. ML, 42 club appearances, four goals. Wow, 42 appearances, one on the right, 16 international, three goals, eight assists. So he is still just racking up the appearances. But 38 appearances, every single match played in the Premier League, four goals, seven assists, 744 average rating. At 34 years old for a mid level club, are they still mid level? Eight, 12th. Uh, he is doing really well. I mean, that is really surprising to see. He is definitely up there in age. But composure, uh, decisions, flair of 18 is still there. Off the ball is still there. Vision of 17. So he's dropped in a couple of numbers. Uh, he's still looking very nicely, though. He's got a lot of greens. Career milestones, still seasonal best 11s. Uh, Injury-wise, he has a couple of slights here and out. So it looks like, you know, a flu, a minor flu, seven days. It looks like he's broken that kind of injury curse for him. But overall, he's looking fantastic. Uh, funny enough, not with uh, with Arsenal at all, not with Chelsea, but sticking with Aston Villa. But that has been it for Mikhailo Mudrik. I apologize if I'm not pronouncing that name correctly. Ukrainian is definitely not my language. Uh, but I am Safian FM for the Football Manager blog channel. If you have any others that you want, to, you want me to cover, let me know. Comments down below. Let us know. But that is it for us. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and enjoy.